Howdy and Frank show. Who's not joining us? You're in for a treat. Friend of the show, Orianthi stopped by. Hello. Hello. Orianthi. How are you and doing? Brought, and brought friends. Brought I friends. Did. Brought Dante in Brooklyn with you. Yes. We'll be performing in a minute, but we want to talk to you a little bit. Uh, last time you were here, I think you were heading off to uh, Asia to tour. Yeah. We were without, going out with Alice Cooper, right? Uh, yeah. You know, I was with Alice Cooper um, beginning of this year, and then I finished up with him. And then I've been touring around... Um, I guess in the world really it's like from Korea to Australia with Richie Sambora so we've been writing for the next record and, and touring around I heard that so. uh, over in that part of the world that you guys were I mean arenas like 60,000 people were coming out and you guys were just tearing it up it was crazy yeah because we did um, Summer Sonic which I played probably about four years ago with my band and it's like 90,000 people yeah. Yeah. and you look out there's just like a sea you know and and it's great energy. I mean, Japanese crowds are just wonderful. We loved do you, it. Do, do you, they get rowdy or do they, they sit there quietly? I uh, know they're, pre- they're really into it. Yeah. They get pretty crazy. They get crazy. Yeah. It is like a respect thing. So you think that they're just like, yeah. Yeah, okay. do they clap it? So they're just always <laughs> bowing good. to they're you. Good. It's like, okay, oh, okay, yeah. okay, 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 yeah, yeah. okay. And then we went, to a, we went to a baseball match, actually. The Giants played. And we went to Tokyo Dome to see that. And they're insane. Like, uh, it's just so loud. Like, even more so than Australians or. Americans. Louder so the, than Australians? Mm-hmm. Oh, my so Lord. So the places yeah. to play, it's like uh, going to Japan, you always look forward to that because you just know it's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's, it goes Japan, then Morongo, <laughs> then Australia. <laughs> right. In that order, right? Uh, yeah, you're going to exactly. be playing at, at Morongo on Halloween uh, night. Yes. Uh, are you going to uh, be a part of the festivities of Halloween? Are you going to dress up that night? Or are you going to you know. I don't know, because I've been celebrating Halloween for like the past four years, Alice, <laughs> yeah, every yeah, night. Yeah, with yeah, Alice yeah. Cooper you know? every single so night's Halloween. Maybe a break from it. That, I don't know yet, because, you know, I love dressing up. I really do. So, um, do you I go, don't, I do you go no scary? Idea. Or do you go oh, yeah. sexy? Or what's no, like? I, go, I go scary. I scary. go like cover myself in blood, you know, nice. usually, you know, capes. Actually, before I had, the first Halloween I celebrated here, I was a, uh, like a vampire sort of thing with a big white wig and blood everywhere. Uh, Orianthi's yeah. hanging out with us. So what is it uh, that actually, I mean, in the Halloween spirit, what is it that freaks you out? Um, ghosts and spiders. <laughs> what about spider yeah. ghosts? Oh, spider ghosts are the worst. <laughs> yeah, like, worst. Yeah, like, you see that spider, Just you're like, the worst. I don't, Orianthi, I don't, I don't see anything. <laughs> yeah. so, so if there was a spider crawling on the wall in this room right now, what would you do? I would ask them to kill it <laughs> immediately. The guitar would get smashed <laughs> on the wall, yeah. on the spider. Have you had any uh, paranormal uh, experience with a ghost that made you scared of them? Uh, yeah, when I was younger, I think, you know. Um, but I think I was hallucinating. I'm pretty sure it was some stuff that was going on in my oh. room. Oh. In your room? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Creep me out. Yeah, my uh, my lady says sometimes like she'll wake up or be in that twilight sleep, and she's like, she said that uh, sometimes she'll see like an old black guy sitting on the end of our bed. God. <laughs> Well, like a and I'm like, oh, that's just Earl. <laughs> and I have no idea. I was like, and then, you know, she'll focus a little bit and then he'll disappear. So was it something like that? No, not really. But it was just like, noises and stuff. Poltergeist. I mean, kind of, oh, that's yeah. the worst kind where they make noises and stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was uh, actually in my cupboard, in my closet next to my bed. Be strange noises coming from there. And, and uh, yeah, and just strange lights in the room, you know. Then you just kind of explain where they where they come from. See, that's so. the kind of stuff that's scarier to me than a guy with a chainsaw chasing me through the woods. Like like the movie Witchboard, <laughs> when they mess around with the Ouija board or whatever, which oh, you yeah. probably did as a kid. I know, like we'd have slumber parties. Like, let's do a seance or let's get the Ouija board out. That stuff scares me more than than yeah, Jason yeah. or Michael or whatever. What scares me is someone getting into the cloud and hacking my nude photos <laughs> and right. putting them out everywhere. Well, you shouldn't have them on I, your phone. I don't know Mister. if I want that. Do you uh, do you have any worries about someone getting into the cloud out there and pulling down some nude Orianthes? Right. Oh, no, no, really? no. <laughs> no. There's just, just lots of photos of my dog, really. That's yeah, all they're gonna that get. Girl, and he's too. not wearing pants, so <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Totally you know. <laughs> do you ever dress your dog in clothes? Um. Yeah. You know, I bought my dog's matching scowl sweaters. And they occasionally wear them. What kind of dogs do you have? I'm a Pomeranian and a Bichon. I think we talked about yeah, this yeah. last time. Yeah. And you said, and I said, bring them in next time. And you said, oh, no. I didn't know I could. Well, no, I, I shouldn't bring them in because oh. they're like, they're actually going to Australia next week. They're, they're named to- Brooklyn and Dante. She didn't bring them in. Yeah, he's dressed. It's adorable. So what's it like touring with uh, Richie Sambora? Oh, it's great. You know, it's a guitar fest. I mean, we yeah. just jam out. Um, the first time we jammed, we played uh, Voodoo Child. I think it went on for like 20 minutes. It's on, it's on YouTube. And um, yeah, we just, we just rock out and have a lot of fun because I guess we have the same sort of blues background. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's uh, we're, we've written so many songs 
I think close to like 50, you know, six songs, something like that. At this You've point, written so. 50 songs together? Yeah, 50 plus songs, yeah. How long does it take? Like, maybe I asked you this before, but when you're sitting down uh, with Richie or by yourself or whatever, how long does it take you to write a song? Oh, it depends, you know. So What's I'm, the quickest time you've ever written a song? Where you're like, that's done um, and it's awesome. It's gonna probably be. like half an hour. You know, that was my last record. And uh, actually the fastest song to write was What's It Gonna Be, Off Believe. For some reason I just wrote that song like, really fast. And then How Do You Sleep on the last record was written. You could fast. leave me on an island yeah. with no distractions for four years and I'd be like, I, I don't I don't have anything, you guys. I don't know. Like I got <laughs> I don't I, know. I don't have anything. Like I have this paper. I didn't do anything. A half an hour to write a hit song. It's crazy. So when you're sitting down writing uh, music with Richie and having so much in common, is there any kind of chemistry there? I mean, you guys, as far as like writing chemistry, but is there like, you know, because you came oh, in yeah. here and you were like doing your, you know, like tuning in and saying, let me do the sound check here. And you, and you just did a oh. couple riffs of stuff. And I was like, I'm in love with Falling you. Falling in love, right. Seriously, right. I am yeah. in love with you. Mm -hmm. Is there, you know, is it hard not yeah. to fall in love with somebody when you're looking in their eyes writing 50 songs? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, no, we have we get along really well and uh, we have great chem chemistry straight off the bat. As I say, you know, we met and, uh, you know, um, I met him through Alice Cooper yeah. in, in Maui. And, um, you know, since then, we're just hanging out all the time. And If we were to hack into Richie Sambora's cloud, we'd we find any naked <laughs> Orianthes. <laughs> oh, look at that face. Oh, no. oh, my God. Oh, I stumbled across Did, something oh, right there. Are, are, we, are we breaking news here? What's happening? Oh, you probably find some nudes I sent to Richie Sambora <laughs> a long time ago. It's hard telling how many nudes he has. I go, really quickly going back to when you when you look out into a crowd and you see a sea of, I mean, just thousands and thousands of thousands of people, have you ever, do you always know ahead of time that it's packed? Somebody comes back and goes, it's it's packed tonight. Oh, it's, it's great. Or do you, are you ever like totally surprised? Like, I knew we were packed, but I had no idea it was like this. Um, well, when you play the festivals, you know, it's a little easier because... You, you know, know how many tickets there's a huge or something. crowd yeah. there, yeah. you know, before we get up and everything. But when you're playing your own show, you hope that people show up. Right. And that's for me. I always you're get still out worried about that all the time. You know, yeah. you, you know, you get out there and you think, oh, I'm just really grateful that people show. Because you don't want to be like, and say. everybody, it's Orianthe. <laughs> yeah, right. This one's for you. <laughs> and you're like, oh no, because you are here. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> just for you. No, it's just like it, it's always surprising to me that people actually show up. You know, and, and it's uh. It's awesome. Well, I'm show up at Morongo on yeah, Halloween sure. night so, yes. and and, uh, and see Orianti play. Uh, the Women's International Music Network announced that you will co-host the 2015 She Rocks Awards. Yeah, nice. Uh, what's that all about? Well, it's uh, you know about women in music and um, you know just uh, celebrating that. And um, I actually performed at the last award show, but they had it in the morning, and we played like ACDC at like 8 a.m. So that was like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> really loud, like, you know, from the show. And but it was it's a great, you know, it's a great award show. And um, I got the in Inspire Award last time. And we got like Mindy, who played with um, Aerosmith um, and uh, the Bangles are being honored. I'm pretty sure, which is gonna be cool. And uh, Sheila E, I think she's gonna be there. A few other people. So who would you love to meet that you haven't met yet that you just idolize? Um, I was thinking about this the other day. I've not met Bonnie Wright. I think she's amazing. Uh, that could probably happen, Orianthe. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking. Um, I don't know who else really. That's a good one. Jerry um, Underwood. Everybody. You're kind of close. I mean, I mean Bonnie, Bonnie Raitt. Like he's got the red beard and the white and the white and the beard. I mean, you're getting close. Exactly. I was yeah, like, you know, a little, a little thing little going on here. Yeah. You know, I can't really think of anyone else at this point. Well, Bonnie Raitt's a good one. Yeah, I sort of met everyone and and played with. Everyone you just did a uh, duet with uh, Stephen Tyler, right? Yeah. How was that? Yeah. Um, That's heaven as hell, right? Or yeah, Heaven that was on the deluxe version. We did. Uh, it's available now. Sexy last, bizarre. Yeah, last time you were. Sexy in, bizarre, yeah. and you play. Didn't we play a little bit of that when she was here? And it was yeah, it was kick ass. Yeah, yeah, that Sick. was a blast. I mean, mm -hmm. he, you know, he kills it. He's like an insane singer, <laughs> like truly. Yeah, he seems like he'd be a lot of fun. I saw, I see like YouTube videos of him just random places where he like sat, he sat down with the guy who has like uh, bottles hanging from ropes, and he was playing like they're filled with water, and they make different tones. And he okay. sat down, and he played Dream <laughs> On on the bottles, and this <laughs> some random person has it on video. You like know, somebody's like that. That's, that's Steven, looks like Tyler. Steven Tyler. Is that Steven Tyler? <laughs> yeah. Dude, Bill Murray or Steven Tyler? You never know who's going to just show up and just do something crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, you have uh, your guitar on your lap, and it's, a, yes. it's something to, to see. Is uh, They say one of the, the 12 greatest guitar players, females of all time. I'm like, 12? Are you kidding me? She's number, <laughs> number one. one. She's yeah. sitting right uh, here. Yep, yep. Phenom. And uh, if you get a chance to go to, uh, to Morongo, do that. You can get tickets to uh, the show orantimusic.com. And uh, you brought in uh, Dante and Brooklyn with you to help accompany yeah. you sing and you know, do something. Yeah, we actually toured together. Um, 
I think like two years ago with Alice Cooper, yeah. and um, they just killed it. Uh, they would open, and, and you were like, "You're coming everywhere with me now." Yeah, right. That's <laughs> what I do. I call them up yeah. all the time. Of course, just come yeah. over. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> works. <laughs> so, so what are you? What are you gonna play? I'm gonna play a bit of Hendrix for you. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna bring my electric. Oh. Here, but we're gonna Sorry, try to rock man. out as much as we can with these acoustics. So, all right. This because, right. Again, Orianthi Morongo, Halloween night, OriantheMusic.com. Follow her on Twitter, too, at Orianthi. Getting she a little preview. Live in studio. All right. There must be some kind of way out of here. Said the Joker to the thief. There's just too much confusion I can't get no relief The businessmen, they drink my wine Climb and dig my earth Never live on this line Nobody of his world My God, oh, is the witness that in studio? Is that really happening <laughs> that right now? That was incredible, you guys. That was incredible. You have to go see Orianthe at Morongo on, on Halloween. OrianthiMusic.com for tickets and follow her on Twitter at Orianthe. Thank you so much for coming oh, in. Oh, thank you. And I have a special guest coming to, to the Morongo as well. So oh, so surprise? And then, uh, Brooklyn and Dante going to be there? Yeah, of course yeah, they're right, getting yeah. up. And a special guest. And some special guests, yes. Oh. So, Richie may show up. Oh. oh. And then, is it going to be separate friends, suites right. or one suite? I'm just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> staying around, you know, maybe, Make sure you say the night. Look at that face. I love that face. She's in love. Look at that little red face she gets. It. <laughs> it's, it's hot in here. <laughs> it, it, it is. It is. It's very hot You're in, in the hot seat, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Orianthi. Definitely go see her at Morongo. We'll be right back. We're Heidi and Frank.